Yeshu is coming from the Galilea to the Jordan to Johannan to be baptized unto him. But Johannan would have hindered him, saying, I, I am having a need to be baptized unto thee, and thou, thou art coming to me? But Yeshu answering said to him, Allow thou now, for in this way it is being appropriate for us to fill up all righteousness. Then he is allowing him. And Yeshu, when he was baptized, went up immediately from the water, And lo, the skies were opened to him, and he saw the Spirit of the God descending as a dove and coming upon him. And lo, a voice out of the skies saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Matai chapter 4 Then was Yeshua led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tested of the slanderous adversary. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he afterward hungered. And the tester came and said to him, If thou art a son of the God, command that these stones become bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Then the slanderous adversary taketh him into the holy city, and he set him on the pinnacle of the temple, and saith to him, If thou art a son of the God, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his messengers charge concerning thee, and on their hands they shall bear thee up, lest perhaps thou dash thy foot against a stone. Yeshua said to him, Again it is written, Thou shalt not make trial of Lord Yahweh thy God. Again the slanderous adversary taketh him to an exceeding high mountain, and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world, and the glory of them. And he said to him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then saith Yeshua to him, Get thee hence, Shatana, for it is written, Thou shalt worship Lord Yahweh thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Then the slanderous adversary leaveth him. And behold, messengers came and served to him. Now when he heard that Johannan was delivered up, he withdrew into the Galilea, and leaving the Nathara, he came and dwelt in Capernaum, which is by the sea, in the borders of Zabulon and Nephtali that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken through Yeshua the prophet, saying, The land of Zavulon and the land of Nephtali toward the sea beyond the Jordan, Galilee are of the nations. The people that sat in darkness saw a great light, and to them that sat in the region and shadow of death To them did light spring up. From that time began Yeshua to preach and to say, Be ye repenting, for the kingdom of the skies hath become near. And walking by the sea of the Galilea, he saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Petro, and Andreas his brother, casting a net into the sea, 
for they were fishers. And he saith to them, Come ye after me, and I will make you fishers of men. And they immediately left the nets and followed him. And going on from thence, he saw two other brothers, Jacob, the son of Zebedee, and Johannan, his brother, in the boat with Zebedee, their father, mending their nets, and he called them. And they immediately left the boat and their father, and followed him. And Yeshua went about in all the Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the announcement of the kingdom, and healing all manner of disease, and all manner of sickness among the people. And the report of him went forth into all Aram, and they brought to him all that were sick, held with diverse diseases and torments, possessed with demons, and epileptics, and paralytics, and he healed them. And there followed him great multitudes from the Galilee, and Decapolis, and Hierosolumon, and Judea, and from beyond the Jordan. And seeing the multitudes, he went up into the mountain, and when he had sat down, his disciples came to him, and he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in the spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of the skies. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they that hunger and thirst after the righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in the heart, for they shall see the God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are they that have been persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of the skies. Blessed are ye being when they would reproach you and persecute you and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in the skies, for so persecuted they the prophets that were before you.